nak Awak yang tu lah Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita Tanda sokongan Terima kasih Assalamualaikum And hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jika anda pertama kali hadir Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir Dan kembali semula Terima kasih kerana sudi kembali Jadi dalam video kali ini Kita akan sambung beberapa examples Okay Untuk kita discuss berkenaan dengan chapter 4 Iaitu forces Tapi sebelum kita mula Jangan lupa untuk Tengok video ini kerana dalam video ini terdapat lagi beberapa soalan yang telah dibincangkan. So, apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, now example number 5. Here we have 6 kg box. Alright, is held in equilibrium juga. So, means that Total Fy and total Fx is equal to zero. Okay. And this is on rough surface. So, bila rough surface means that ada friction. Okay. And we put 20 Newton force on the object. Kita cuba tahan objek tu daripada sliding down on the inclined plane. Kita tahan dia dengan external force. So, letak F1. Okay. In this direction. Okay, which is horizontal direction. Okay, tengok direction dia betul-betul. Okay, and apa dia kata tadi tu? Okay, it's held in equilibrium on a rough slope by a 20 Newton force as shown in figure below. The box is on the point of sliding down the plane. Okay, calculate the frictional force acting on the on the box. Okay, so we want to find the frictional force. Okay, so maknanya dia kata uh, dia on the point of sliding down the plane. So maknanya kita tahanlah dia dengan external force F1. Okay, so perkara paling penting kita nak lukis free body diagram. So this is the surface. So means that this is X component. Yang force yang perpendicular dengan surface adalah in Y component. Okay, so saya akan lukis saya punya X and Y component. So this should be Y and this is X component. X exists. Okay. So now W would be straightly downward. Okay. And this is the angle mesti rapat dengan Y component. Y exists. So this one should be 35 degree. And then kita akan ada normal. Alright. And then for friction. The direction of friction mestilah ke arah kiri kita. Okay, kenapa? Sebab kalau kita tak tahan kotak ini dengan external force of 20 Newton, the object will sliding downward. Dia akan bergerak ke bawah. So, frictional force mesti opposite direction dengan motion dia lah. So, kita consider frictional force is upward direction. Okay. So, uh, kita dah settle dan satu lagi kita tertinggal iaitu external force. Okay, now look at here. For the external force, direction F1 is uh, parallel to the base of the inclined plane ataupun lantai kita. Okay, so this is the base of the inclined plane. Okay, uh, tengok betul-betul. So, kalau saya lukis, okay, tengok sini betul-betul eh. So, kalau saya lukis, okay, since Direction of F1 is parallel to the base of the inclined plane. Sekejap eh, so kita lurus. So F1 is parallel to the base of this inclined plane. And saya akan buat satu lagi line, start from here, which is parallel to the surface of the inclined plane. Okay, awak tengok saya akan color kan. Okay, so line ini yang kuning, dia akan parallel dengan ini. Okay, tengok betul-betul ya. So, line yang warna hijau, ini, okay, direction of F1 is parallel to the base ataupun lantai kita ni. Okay. Boleh eh, ini. So, now, mathematically, so since this angle is 35 degree, so, ini juga akan jadi 35 degree. Boleh eh? So, bila kita nak transfer F1 kita dalam free body diagram, okay, Kita tengok the tail of the arrow. So, tail of the arrow kat sini kan. So, kita nak lukis free body diagram nanti mesti daripada tail of the arrow. So, kalau sini 35, sini juga akan 35 degree. 
Okay, this is very important. So now dalam free body diagram kita, dekat mana duduknya F1 tadi? Okay, so saya suka untuk lukis semula di sini. So saya ada X component. Sorry. And then this is Y component. Okay. So now, start from here, we have friction. And then we have normal. And then we have weight straightly downward at 35 degree. And then external force. Okay, external force kita tadi horizontal direction, right? Okay, straight macam ini. F1, 20 Newton. Angle dia adalah angle dia adalah ini which is 35 degree. Tengok betul-betul eh. So since this angle 35 degree so saya dah lukis uh, satu line dotted line which is parallel to the surface. So dotted line ni saya letak warna pink. Ha, ini. Dia parallel dengan surface ni. So maknanya dia adalah 35 degree lah. So kita pindahkan ke sini. So this question is a good question sebab dia trick untuk resolve F1 dengan betul. Okay. So sekarang free body diagram saya dah betul. So saya nak start saya punya calculation. But before that I want to resolve first. Okay. I want to resolve F1 into F1x which is F1 cos 35 and then saya nak resolve F1y which is equal to F1 sin 35. Okay. So free body diagram untuk inclined plane tak boleh pusing jika soalan minta draw a free body diagram. Okay. Kalau soalan tak minta draw a free body diagram, dia just suruh awak kira macam soalan ini. You kata peninglah sengit you nak pusing itu terpulang kepada awak. Untuk senang untuk awak tengok mana X and mana Y component. Okay. So ini adalah X component and this is Y component. Okay. Y exist and X exist. Okay, so now let's write the equation. So I will write total Fx equal to zero because the object is in equilibrium. Okay, now look at the free body diagram. Kita tertinggal satu lagi force untuk kita resolve iaitu weight kan. So saya letak weight saya warna merah pula. Iaitu kita ada Wy dan juga Wx. Okay, so now let's write the equation. Okay, so... In X component, kita ada WX, F1X dan juga friction. So, sekarang saya akan consider WX saya sebagai negatif lah sebab dia ke kiri. Kita consider macam tu sebab this is equilibrium. Okay, kita ambil negative direction to the left, positive direction is to the right. Tak ada masalah. Okay, mana-mana you nak tukar positive negatif, kanan jadi negatif, kiri jadi positif pun tak ada masalah. Okay. So, saya akan letak negative Wx plus F1x which is to the right of your x axis plus friction equal to zero. Okay. So, saya rearrange this equation sebab saya nak cari friction. Okay. So, F is equal to Wx minus F1x. Okay. So, Wx adalah gantilah. Mg sin 35. Ini kita dah buat banyak kali eh. Dah boleh hafal dah. 20 cos 35. And it's equal to. Let's substitute all the values. Okay. This one. So you akan dapat friction force 17.38 Newton. Terus dapat. Very easy. Okay. And then soalan suruh kita cari the coefficient of friction. Ha, A dah settle. So coefficient of friction means that we want to find mu eh. Mu tiada, uh, mu tiada uh, unit. Okay so equation for the frictional force is equal to m equal to mu n. So now kita nak cari mu is equal to f over n. N is the normal force. Okay so f kita dah ada. M kita nak cari, sorry, mu kita nak cari, normal kita tak ada. So, kita kena cari normal force and kita tahu normal force berada dalam Y component. So, we need another equation. 
total Fy pula untuk cari N. Okay. So now look at the free body diagram here. In Y component kita ada normal, upward, WY is downward and F1Y is also downward. So saya akan letak normal is positive plus negative WY plus negative F1Y equal to zero. Okay. So normal should be equal to F1Y plus WY. Ha, awak masukkanlah nilai dia. F1Y is 20 sin 35 plus WY is berapa tadi? MG kan? MG cos 35. Ha, tak muat saya nak tulis kecil sangat. Okay so normal for saya akan dapat 59.69 Newton. Okay so saya boleh substitute in order to find the coefficient of frictional force. So sekarang saya boleh substitute and then we will find the coefficient of friction mu equal to F over N. Saya terus saja masukkan nilai F where F is equal to 17.38 over normal force is 59.69. So mu equal to 0.291. Okay, tiada unit. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, so finish question number 5. Okay. So let's proceed to question number six. See you in the next session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.